study device that we have here at the office called a watch pad. Uh, it's pretty comfortable to sleep with. Uh, when you go to a sleep lab, uh, there's a multiple number of things that you're hooked up to, 15 to 18 different leads, and it's a foreign environment. Uh, the nice thing about the inventory is you're sleeping in your own bed, you have your normal routine, um, it just wraps around your wrist and around your finger, uh, and you have a little microphone placed on your, on your chest. And so most people find that they can sleep much more normal with that than, than the sleep study. Obviously, if you have any symptoms such as snoring, uh, your bed partner says that they see you not breathe or gasp at night. Those things are very common symptoms of sleep apnea. Uh, more and more research is being done all the time with the link between sleep apnea and a lot of diseases. Probably the first one and most common link is hypertension. Almost every patient that we see that has sleep apnea, you look on the health history and they have hypertension. There's just a tremendous link with that, along with more severe cardiac uh, symptoms such as stroke and heart attack and those sort of things. Diabetes is a, has a very uh, big comorbidity with uh, sleep apnea, uh, but the statistics just become more and more of the relationship between it and our overall health. Uh, weight gain is another big one for sleep apnea, gastric reflux. Um, there's just a, a getting to be a longer list of all, all the time. Uh, but then also just people that don't feel refreshed, tend to be sleepy and uh, not work, and those kind of things. Symptoms is another obvious uh, tip-off that there may be.